What's up everyone? So this is the fourth video of Lua Snip video series. In this video, we are going to take in choice node. This one right here. So the function name is C. I'll show you how this is working um, as we are creating a snippet. So let's get started by creating a snippet and the trigger character is going to be C. Here I will add a choice node like this. Um, similar to insert node, choice nodes can be jumped into. So make sure that you're passing a uh, jump index. Then we can define our choices in a table. Here I'm going to add a text node called, let's call this um, first, all right. Then I'll create a second as well. Let's do third. So we have three choices, all right? Let me just um, reload the snippets, but I have to mention something. I forgot one thing in the installation video that is to pass one into change choice uh, function. Um, this will still work if you don't pass in one, but it will change the choices in reverse. So make sure that you have one passed into change choices if you want to um, choice forward, you know. All right. Um, so I can do C here and control I until um, at the first choice we have defined here. Now the key bind we have defined to change choices is um, control L. So I can do control L to jump to the second choice. Once again, I can do control L, it will jump to the, to the third uh, choice. If I do it one more time, it will circle back to the first one. So that's how it's working. Um, now let's do something useful let's do the same thing we did earlier in the in in the pre previous video with insert node so let's do fmt and here i'm going to define a local variable here a placeholder and another placeholder here within the table i'm going to define a insert node the jump index is one uh, by the way because you have defined one here you don't have to define two here because this is a nested node and when you're nesting something, you have to start from beginning. So the first one within that next nested node, first um, uh, jump order or the jump index should be one in a nested node, even though you have defined one already in the parent node. So that's one thing. Um, then I'm going to call this name. Similarly, I will define here value. Oops, there we go. Uh, then let's make the jump index two. Then um, I will get another copy of the same thing, but in this, uh, in the second one, I will just remove local. So this is going to be a global variable. So we are uh, jumping between or choosing a local or global variable um, using uh, a choice, choice node. All right, so this looks good save and reload snippets let's try to uh, hit ctrl i now we have a global sorry local variable and when i hit ctrl l it will jump to the gro uh, global variable now here i have to i'll mention something when you change a value and hit ctrl l you can see uh, the 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 value has gone value is gone uh, i will show you how to let's say l storage and keep the changes you have made to the next choice in the future but uh, this is it for now so thanks for watching have a nice day